Hi everyone, it's Bella from Five Cool Things to Kids, and today I'm showing you how to make this single chain rubber band bracelet. This is probably the easiest rubber band bracelet you can possibly make. And I'm going to be using the same colors, blue, I mean blue and pink. What you're going to need are rubber bands, and the two colors, or you could do possibly more, whatever colors you want, and the two, three, or four colors, however many you want, you possibly need, and a C or S clip, or end it however you like. You can use your fingers, the rainbow loom, or these two pencils. These two pencils are holded by a Lego block, and it just makes it easier for me to put it on. Since this is no loom, I'm going to be using this. So you take your first color, which mine is going to be blue, and place it on, and twist, so that it makes an 8. I like to use unsharpened pencils, so you don't get poked with them. Okay, so now I'm going to take my next color, which is pink, and place it on top. Once you do that, you're going to pull your bottom up and over your pink. Make sure you push your bands down so that they don't come off. Then you're going to take your other one and pull it over. Now, for this one, if you're using two colors, you're always going to put on the color that you pulled up. So I pulled up a blue. So my next color I'm going to put on is going to be a blue. That's how you would know. But I don't know if this works for any more than two different colors. I'll have to find out. But I just, I'm just going to take this off. So what you're going to do is you're just going to keep pulling up the bottom until your bracelet is done. I'm going to show you this about three more times. Then I believe you should be able to get it on your own. Put on the color that you pulled up. Or just watch the pattern. So my next one is going to be pink. Pull my bottom up and over the pencil. And you never twist any more rubber bands except for your very first one. You like These are not twisted. These are just plain. Just so you know that. And then pull the other side up. Once you got both sides up. There you go. Two more times. I'm going to put this one on. And you see how this is kind of getting kind of close to the top? Just push them down. And it's good. Now pull your pink up and above this. And one last time. So, so far your bracelet should be looking like this. It stretches, so make it a little bit smaller than it would fit around your wrist. I'll show you one last one, and then I'll show you how to finish off your bracelet. Make sure it's long enough, and I'll actually do two instead of just one. There you go. Okay. So make sure it's long enough, and then I'll show you how to finish it. Okay, so this looks like it should be long enough for me now. So how, this is how I finish it. You're going to take this side of one, or it could be this side, whatever side, but I'm going to take this side and take it off, making sure that the side is still on. Do not let go because then everything will fall off. Make sure you hold it, then place it on this side also. So instead of one being over here and one being over here, now you just have two on one side. So there you go. Then you're going to get your C or S clip, or however you end it. I don't know how else you do it, but... So this is our C clip, and you're going to clip... You, I pulled this side out, so you can clip it in. And let go. Then you can get this side. Pull it. Oops. Make sure you open it up so the clip can go in. It's just like so. There you go. So the C-clip is holding these two ends together. Then you can just pull it right off. And your bracelet is done. There you go. Alright, thanks, thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. 
Please like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye!